Goes to one East Court. This time Council Smith, nothing from champion anyone. Bofeki sails by the eight ball. Clear by six, now by seven, now by eight. Bofeki, five to eight for the Peters Cup. Gallo Tong to win it by six lengths in the end. From day one, she's uh, as a yearling when we bought her and then sent her to the McCaffin brothers to get broken. She was always special and um, she's never really done anything wrong other than maybe not running her race in the Frisette, but that was a big ask up of three weeks in the ship. But I mean, she's a pretty special filly and I mean, she's. She's the best horse that Ellen J. Fox was of our own thing. We've had other great winners, but she's special. And this was designed in part as a tune-up for the Breeders' Cup? Perfect prep, you know, come out of your stall, race against three-year-olds, and now, you know, hopefully she comes out well and the Breeders' Cup then take on the best horses, and that's what it's all about, right? She's a very talented horse, and obviously she shows, and she had a wonderful, nice, cozy trip today, and I just asked her to work down the lane, and she did her stuff. Yeah. What is it about her? What's she feel like to be on? Is it she goes real fast, and it makes my job easy because you relax real nice, and when you ask up on her, she finds you another gear. She's a young horse I've always worked against and worked her, so I knew what I, from day one how special she was. So. Obviously, you know, you like to see him pan out the way they do. It was an amazing uh, performance. She's, you know, an unbelievable filly. We've thought a lot of her since last year. It's when we got her in, first time we breezed her keen, it was like, wow, this filly's really fast. And <laughs> she's, she's developed into an incredibly nice filly and hopefully onto the Breeders' Cup after this. And, I mean, that's exactly what you want to see, trying, try, you know, using this race as a pro for the Breeders' Cup. Yeah, she did it the right way and uh, tracks fast, but she, she you know, she, she stepped up and you know, she set off a filly again today, which was really important. Sean did a good job of getting her to relax off Take Charge Angel and, uh, you know, put enough pressure on her going into the turn to try to, you know, get her head in front turning for home, and she, she responded really well. She's an extremely nice filly, and I mean, she's a, she's, she's a, uh, she's, she's a great one winner, and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see. I mean, it, I don't know if she could be in the running for champion three-year-old filly, but, you know, I think if a, a big a big effort, maybe a win in the Breeders' Cup would be possible. You know, what kind of confidence will you go into the Breeders' Cup filly and mares? Well, she's a filly that lets you know in the mornings uh, when you breeze her, how she's doing, she, she, and, and she lets you know how she's doing with her works leading up to a race and she came into this race exactly like she came into the test obviously this was um, not a as big a battle down the lane as the test was um, so we'll hopefully maybe thinking this race wouldn't didn't or will not take as much out of her and we'll have a prime for the Breeders Cup